Have, we're we're two thirds of the way through winter. There's plenty of winter yet to be had. Let's take you out and give you a winter sunset. Sunset this evening at about 5:40. It's cloudy. It's been kind of a on and off gray day out there, and uh, temperature wise, we haven't really gone very far. We're 49. That is our high for the day in Portland. It's 45 in King City right now. Big perspective across the state. Nobody terribly cold. Freezing temperatures out towards Baker City and Burns. Uh, the big perspective here across the northwest, uh, while the, the bark is worse than the bite here, our radar and satellite showing maybe a little bit of rain along the coast, but for the most part, most of this not even reaching the ground. So it's been generally dry for most of the area. There's our culprit, a little low pressure there spinning. Well, not little, it's actually taking up a fair amount of real estate here across the East Pacific. That will continue kind of meandering towards the California coast over the next 24 hours, which is of little consequence to us other than to keep the cloud cover around as we go through the day on Friday. So future cast bears that out. I think the central and southern Oregon coast sees sunshine and east of the Cascades tomorrow. It should be a lovely day, but the northwest corner of the state and southwest Washington, we're probably going to be dealing with a fair amount of cloud cover and our modeling also maybe trying to spit out one or two sprinkles in Clark and Cowlitz County. Uh, I think Portland and Point South were generally dry, but in and out of the clouds, I think for most of the day on Friday. Headed to the beach for Friday, maybe the getaway for the big weekend. Uh, mostly cloudy, spotty showers, and the emphasis here would be tomorrow morning for that shower threat. I think most of the afternoon will be generally dry, and in fact, a lot of the weekend looks generally dry at the Oregon and Washington coast as well. Through the Columbia River Gorge, partly sunny west end, mostly sunny east end, light west breeze after a chilly start. No problem with temperatures getting to the upper 40s to low 50s. Speaking of chilly, how about cold starts? Prineville wakes up to about 19 tomorrow. You'll have plenty of sunshine, though, uh, in that corner of the state, as will uh, folks out towards Baker City and Burns. You're going to wake up to cold temperatures, 10 in Burns tomorrow morning, but full sunshine should help push you up to near 40 in the afternoon. And Futurecast has the I-5 corridor ranging from, take your pick, 47 in Longview to 52 in Eugene. We'll split the difference, about 50 or so here in Portland, which is about that much, that much below average for uh, late February. There's our day planner. Lots of clouds, a frosty start and limited sunshine with highs inching into the 50s. All right, how about your weekend forecast? I mentioned pretty uneventful for late February. Limited sun both days, mostly cloudy, I think upper 40s on Saturday, near 50 on Sunday. So the uh, the first part of our seven day forecast is uneventful. And then things get a little more active, so I wanted to pick up future cast early next week. Monday shows the system diving southward, bringing with it some rain. And then by Tuesday, low pressure develops right along the Oregon Washington coast and slips southward. Does that look a little familiar to what we were talking about earlier this week for low elevation snow potential in western Oregon and Washington? That's exactly how things set up. Now, Portland, of course, for the most part, missed out on the snow, but low elevations north and south did get snow. So that is one thing that we are watching towards the tail end of our seven day forecast. But the other thing that we're quite sure about is the shot of cold that comes our way next week. This is Wednesday and Thursday of next week. I put the wind arrows on here to show uh, the cold air just driving through the gorge. So this is going to be a shot of some late February cold here. Uh, and and with that, I thought I'd point out also that the Climate Prediction Center has this big bullseye of uh, of purple across the northwest. That is the temperature probability for basically the last week of February. And there's little doubt there that we're going to be below average. How much? Not to say, you know, <laughs> Ooh, look at Thursday, brutal, but I, yeah, we, we it's, it could be a struggle to get to the freezing mark on Thursday. So. I put it out there. There's that Wednesday snow chance. There's a lot of stuff that happens between now and then to, as to whether or not that comes to fruition. But one thing we are sure about is that we are going to get another slap of some cold weather uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, probably Thursday and Friday of next week before we start to come out. A lot